bring it in. I'm going to tell you a little story. This is the kind of story we usually do and reserve for inside dish, but I've got sort of a special inside dish today. So I'll throw this one in here. And I was thinking about this the other day because the host of Foul Territory, one of the hosts, is a guy who 10 years ago, it turns out it was 10 years ago, hit a foul ball that broke my finger. Now let me set the stage here. 10 years ago, 2013, the Reds and Pirates were playing in Cincinnati, final weekend of the season, in what was essentially a series that would decide home field advantage for the wild card game, back when there was a wild card game. Fox was doing the game. I was excited to do this game. Playoff implication, big time. Before the game, I shake the hand of said foul territory host, future foul territory host at that time, Todd Frazier. Todd Frazier says to me, dude, you've got little hands, man. Do you ever see me on foul territory with Todd? He comments on my hair. He comments on my shirt. Todd notices things. A lot of players are like this. Okay. So he says that. I don't think anything of it. Whatever. Game begins. About the third or fourth inning. It was early in the game. Um, on Twitter, reporting on Terry Collins signing a contract extension with the Mets. Now, when you're down in the field as a sideline reporter, you've got to be aware. Foul balls do come, and they come hard. And normally, I pick a spot to stand where I'm reasonably protected, covered. And I thought I was in a spot at Great American Ballpark where I was good. I was on the Pirates side, third base side, and it seemed to me that I was not going to have a problem as I kept my head down and tried to report this, texting, tweeting, the whole deal. People say... Don't text while you drive, or you shouldn't tweet while you're a sideline reporter either, but things happen, let's face it. So, about the third or fourth inning, can't exactly remember when it was, a screaming foul ball comes to me. My head is down. I've got my hand on the microphone, and the ball hooks. So I thought I was covered, but the ball hooked, and it nailed me. It hurt. Right pinky. I look down, and there's blood everywhere. Whoa. Okay, this is an interesting situation. Now, I want to finish the game because it's a big game, and my gosh, you get hit in the finger, you leave the game, it's kind of weak, right? So, in the Pirates dugout, the trainers helped me out. The athletic trainers gave me some towels. I just wrapped it up. Andrew McCutcheon at one point, then with the Pirates, his first run with them, hands me a glove, or at least pretends to hand me a glove. It was all in good fun. I didn't think much of it, wrapped it up told our producer, Carol Langley, do not tell Matt Vescursion about this. He was doing play-by-play. -play. Because Matt, we used to work together at MLB Network on the Hot Stove Show. Matt loves stuff like this. He would have been making fun of me the whole game. So it turns out we get through the game, no problem. After the game, I try to see the Reds doctor, but he's going home. So I go into the Pirates Clubhouse to see their doctor, and he stitches me up. It took 10 stitches, and it turned out it was broken. And I'm sitting there, and the doctor throws alcohol on the wound so he can stitch it up, and it's hurting. At this point, it's really hurting. But I'm in the Pirates trainer's room, place that a writer never goes in, by the way. But this was something of an emergency. And Justin Morneau, one of the toughest players in the game, Canadian guy, guy who played hockey, is sitting there, and he's looking at this, and he's kind of laughing. And I'm kind of dying. I mean, not dying, but I'm in pain. And I can't say a word because Justin Morneau is sitting there, and if I start crying like a little baby, he's just going to laugh and laugh and tell his teammates forever. So long story, moral of the story is the finger gets fixed. Todd Frazier breaks my hand, and now we are partners on foul territory.